Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. So today we are going to be talking about Everyday Carry, better known to the internet as EDC. Now, what is it? Why do you care? Well, as the name implies, Everyday Carry is what you carry on your person every single day. For a lot of people, that's going to be phone, keys, and wallet, and that's it. For other people like myself, that's going to extend out to a plethora of other items, such as you know, knife, multi-tool, flashlight, pen, lighter, firearm, medical, all that kinds of stuff. To us, everyday carry is about preparedness, you know, about being able to handle what life's going to throw at you. It's going to include three levels. The first, which is one that we're going to talk about today, is your personal everyday carry. That's what you carry on your person. These are supposed to be your most used items. You know, your phone, keys, and wallet you're using all the time. Um, I use things like a knife, multi-tool, and a flashlight a lot, so those are part of my everyday carry. The next level is going to be your extended this typically includes a backpack where your bigger items go, stuff like raincoats, your water bottle, a bigger medical kit, um, and also things that you just don't use as often. Like I've got a notebook in here for stuff, I've got like extra contacts, um, a raincoat, stuff like that all go inside of here, bigger sets of tools and whatnot. Um, we'll make a video on what actually goes in my everyday pack. So your third level is going to be what you carry in your car. And why this is important is that stuff that goes in your vehicle should be your least likely used items that are still going to be important, as well as bigger kits that don't really need to go into your bag. So like a bigger medical kit, um, a survival kit, stuff like that, that you don't need in your bag with you all the time, but it's nice that it's in your vehicle 30 yards that way that you can get to and it helps you get home if like there's a apocalyptic situation or like if the power shuts down or if there's really bad traffic or if like the streets are getting blocked and stuff like that, it's important to have things to not only make sure that you can survive inside your vehicle, but that you can get home. So let's jump over to the bench and I will show you guys what I carry with me on a day-to-day -day basis. All right, first up, we're going to talk about my wallet. Uh, this goes in my front left pocket and I carry a Trevax Ascent in tobacco. Great wallet, made in the USA believe that everything is hand stitched on these and whatnot. Um, it's got two pockets for cards. I keep like IDs and stuff like that. Cards I just don't use very often here in the front. And then I keep like you know, credit cards and stuff like that that I use way more often in the back here. And then it's got a little pocket for cash. I normally keep three or four bills in here. If you get many more than like five bills in the back of this it starts to like stretch out and you get a big bulge in here and it starts to kind of look like you're stretching out the leather so if you're a big cash carrier i would not suggest this wallet um, it's just not really built for extended amounts of cash in it i added this little tab onto it in order to make it a little easier to get it in and out of my pocket instead of having to reach all the way in and you know grab the sides and yank it out. I can just reach in, grab this little tab and pull. The whole thing comes out. Works great. Um, it also just kind of gives it a flash of color and it was just something fun to, to tie on to this. Uh, next up, let's talk about phone. Something that you gotta carry with you every day. Um, we're all kind of attached to these things. I've got a iPhone 14 in an OtterBox Defender, I believe. Uh, screen protector works great um, it's just what i was able to upgrade to uh verizon so that's why i've got it and that's all we're going to talk about it so last item in basic edc is going to be keys um for me it's going to include my key, my key for me my keys are, are fairly simple i've had it more stuff less stuff but the more stuff goes on here, the bigger, bulkier it is in my pocket. I just don't really like it. Um, I've got very some my truck keys. These are representative. These three are representative keys of what is typically on here. But I've got like my house key and stuff like that on this little D ring. I think this is called a D ring. Um, but it's just kind of a way to keep the keys all together a little bit. Relatively inexpensive. I don't think that this was maybe more than like eight dollars or something like that. So not bad at all. Um, finally, just a key fob, this little leaf that I made um, in the forge. 
there's a there's a video up on my channel that shows you how to make one of these so go check that out and then lastly is how i keep it attached to my shorts with this little hook so all i do with this is just hook it onto the loop of my pants and the keys hang down and these go into my pocket um, this is actually also made by me i wanted a little hook for it so i grabbed some i believe this is a uh, 3 16 pen stock that I was using for knives, bent it, curled it, and then made a little uh, scroll at the end of it. So that's the very basic EDC, your phone, keys, and wallet. First extended item that people typically have is a knife. I carry a Spyderco Paramilitary 3. This is their, this is a very basic version of this. It's just got the black G10 scales on it. It's S30V steel. The only upgrades I've done to this is I added a titanium deep carry pocket clip onto it. Works great. I didn't like the stock one on it. The stock Spyderco pocket clips start here and then you actually start like pocketing down here. So all that sticks up out of your pocket, which is, you know, sometimes it's fine, but I really like this to get down in my pocket a little more and be a little more hidden. I did add another one of these little lanyards onto it. I just thought it was a fun thing to add on to it and kind of gives it a little extra flair to it. I want to add like a titanium bead to this, like replace these two knots right here with a bead of some kind, but I'm too cheap to go and go and buy one. So I got to get to where I'm, I'm, I make myself one maybe. So this is probably the most common extra item to the, the very standard everyday carry. So along with the knife, I also carry a full-sized multi-tool. The one I carry is the Leatherman Wave Plus. It's a great tool. Um, the pliers work great on it. Honestly, I probably use the pliers the most just for getting into small spaces and stuff like that that I just can't get to with my fingers. I've even used uh, the ends here. As you can kind of see, they're, they are relatively tight tolerance, so they do touch. I've used them like tweezers to get like splinters and stuff out. So pocket clip, I did add one to this because I don't really like having the case that this comes in on my belt. It's kind of bulky and it just, I just don't like it. It's, it's too much going on on my belt. So I, I added a pocket clip to it so that I can sit down in my pocket. Uh, this is not a, the Leatherman version. I don't remember what it is. It was just one that I was able to find off Amazon. I was impatient, so I didn't wait for the one that Leatherman actually makes to come into stock. And honestly, I've kind of paid for that because this thing, as you can kind of see, it's bowed out really badly, and that's because I catch this all the time, and it always ends up stuck out like that. Um, back to that at some point, but I think a multi-tool, if you are somebody who likes who works a lot with your hands and whatnot, it's, it's an invaluable tool to have. You don't have to get one this big. They make plenty of smaller ones that have all the tools you need. And honestly, I may go to something smaller. Now, this tool is what I carry. Now, how many times have you needed to write something down and you don't have a pen on you? Well, that's why I carry a pen with me at all times. I, it's a little bolt action pen. This is a smoother pro i believe is the name of it it's off of amazon it takes g2 pilot refills which is the big reason that i got it which is really nice you know g2 is the superior pen so having a cool bolt action pen that takes those refills is really nice and honestly the whole reason i got a nicer pen than just carrying like a g2 in my pocket is because i lose the g2s all the time if i set it down I have no idea that it's mine and I walk off without it. And then someone else goes, ah, a pen, picks it up and walks off. But this, it's very obvious, ah, oh, that's not a normal pen. This belongs to somebody. And I very rarely lose this. And if I do, it's much easier to find. So get like the tactile turn bolt action pens, but those are like a hundred bucks. They're all made out of titanium and stuff like that. They're really nice pens, but I just, I haven't footed the bill to get one. So next up, light. Um, I carry a Cloud Defensive MCH 2.0 with the EDC head on it. They do make a, what's called the, their High Candela, which has a really high Candela, lower lumens. Their EDC is a higher 
lumens lower candela so it's not going to punch out as far but the area that it's covering is going to be a lot brighter which is more so what i need it for i'm not looking at super far distances you know it's mostly like out into my backyard um, if i'm out in a field i can look a good enough distance if i'm in the woods it doesn't need to go super far i more need it to be really bright so i can see what i'm doing so next up let's talk about my firearm so i carry a gen 4 glock 19 in a tier 1 concealed agus holster spare mag on it it's got i've got my two clip configuration on it i love this thing it's super comfortable to wear i'll wear it for almost my entire day and you know adjust it here and there a little bit but i really don't notice it all that much it's just it's a really comfortable way to carry a, a gun that's this big and i do carry i do have smaller guns that i i will carry sometimes but it's really nice to be able to have you know, a full-size pistol that i shoot really well on my person. So, pull this thing out. I'll show you guys clear, clear. So, I've got a Hollow Sun 507C as my optic, a PL Mini Valkyrie 2 as my light. I have added in a uh, Magpul well to the bottom here just to mag well to make it a little easier to get mags in and out as well as it kind of gives a stop to the bottom of it for this finger i went ahead and put on the beaver tail attachment for the glock here so this is part of the kit that comes with the firearm um, i just like it because i can grip the gun a lot higher and i don't have to worry about this slide running into my hand whereas before if i grabbed a little too high i'd get slide by right here so this just kind of helps it so that I got something that I can tuck really high into and not have to worry about the slide running into me. I don't have to worry about that. This configuration is about to change and that's because I am changing my light over to a Streamlight TLR7A. The only reason that's not on here is because I don't have the holster for it yet. So that holster is going to be coming from Tier 1 Concealed as well, so I just have to wait for it to actually get here. So until then, the O-Light stays on. But that's going to pretty much do it for my firearm. It's, it's pretty simple. I don't have any aftermarket barrels or anything done to my trigger. This is my stock trigger. Um, the one thing that I do want to do is I would like to run suppressor height sights so I can co-witness through my optic because as of right now, I can't. Um, yeah, so that's my firearm. So to go along with my gun is a gun belt. This is the Core Essentials belt. This is their nylon webbing. Their track system, super easy to use, loose and tighten it. It's got really small increments, other unlike you know, like a belt that's got your standard belt loops and stuff like that. It's just it's not gonna this I can get a lot more slight tightening to it if I want to get my gun a little bit closer to me, or if I just ate a bunch of food, I can, you know, discreetly pop this open and be fine, or if I'm going to sit down and I feel like it's a little too tight, it just gives me options, which is really nice. And so the last thing. And my EDC that you guys have seen me wearing is my watch. Which is a Sunto Core Black. Um, really good digital watch. It's super comfortable. It's got the silicone bands and whatnot. It does have not just time, but it's also got an altimeter and barometer as well as a compass. I've used the compass a handful of times, but I'll be honest, I've not used the altimeter barometer, which is kind of a shame because it's in here, but you know, it's just not something that I find useful in my day-to-day -day life. It's got all the normal functions, stopwatch, timer, alarms, and whatnot. Um, the, the backlight in here is really nice because it is not super bright. So if I'm out in the woods and stuff, it's not like a beacon shining really bright. And it, you know, I don't look down, click it on, look at my watch, go, ah, well, now I can't see anything because all my night vision is messed up. Um, so this just works really well for me. I've carried this for quite a while. As you can see, there's some damage to the bezel here but the bezel sticks up high enough that anytime i bump it into something i'm not hitting the glass which is really nice so it's held up really well i've only had to change the batteries i think twice in it in the five years that i've carried it if that i might only have changed them once actually but so yeah that's my watch oh anyway, guys that is everything that i carry with me on a daily basis it may seem like a lot of stuff but honestly i've carried more and i've carried less and this is what i found works for me it's going to be different for everybody, and that's the beautiful thing about everyday carry. You can carry more things, less things. It's just a very 
fun and easy way to kind of customize your, your life and make things yours. So <clears throat> I'm going to put links to all this stuff down in the description. If you guys want to go check any of it out, uh, do me a favor. If you enjoyed this, like and subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. I think I'm going to do some more videos on gear and stuff. I'd like to review kind of, you know, like my lights and stuff like that. And so with that, I'll see you all next time.